ओम शांति टुडे इज द टेंथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट 2022 ट्वेंटी टू लेट एस लिसन टू दी साकार मुरली ऑफ आर बिलवेड बाप दादा बाप दादा मधुबन द एसेंस ऑफ टूडेज मुरली इज स्वीट चिल्ड्रन रिपीटेडली प्रैक्टिस बिकमिंग सोल कॉन्शियस आई एम अ सोल आई शेड अ बॉडी एंड टेक अनदर I now have to return home. Today's question as asked by Baba is which festival is the main one and why? Baba replies The main festival is Raksha Bandhan because when the father ties you in the bond of purity Bharat becomes heaven. At the time of Raksha Bandhan you children can explain to everyone when the celebration of this festival began and why there is no need for this bond in the golden age they say that the festival of raksha bandhan has existed since the beginning of time today's song is salutations to jagadamba om shanti this song belongs to the path of devotion there are many varieties of song on the path of devotion all three the incorporeal subtle and corporeal ones are praised the father is now explaining to you children and you children have understood that we are souls the supreme father the supreme soul is explaining to us there is only the one who is the bestower of salvation for all human beings those who do service with him are also praised the father says remember me alone the soul understands that the supreme father the supreme soul is personally giving us knowledge and that there should be unadulterated remembrance of that father no other name or form should be remembered all are souls but when a soul receives a body the name of the body changes there are no names given to souls it is bodies that are given names the father says i too am a soul but i am the supreme soul that is i am god i do have a name i am a soul i do not adopt a body this is why i have been given the name shiva all others have names given to their bodies i don't have a body a name is definitely needed but if i too were just a soul who would be god i am the supreme soul my name is shiva all of those who worship a lingam refer to that oval shaped stone image as god however as is the language so would be the name it is the same thing as is your soul so is mine you are a point and so am i the name of myself a point is shiva a name is needed in order to be recognized brahma and saraswati who are the greatest at this time are also receiving salvation all souls will receive salvation all souls reside in the soul world the supreme soul is completely separate everyone has received his own part the father is the seed of the entire rosary of rudra everyone remembers him O oh God, the Father. People everywhere remember the Father, not the Mother. He comes into Bharat and purifies the impure. He also adopts a mother. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, has adopted Saraswati through Brahma. He has entered this one. This adoption is totally different. He needs someone to work through. He says, "I speak knowledge through this one and adopt children through him." therefore this one is also a mother this is the household path but because this one is male the main one saraswati has been given the status of the mother these are very deep secrets and have to be understood this is the father of humanity that one creates people through this one it isn't that he adopts you through saraswati no this has to be understood first of all father's introduction has to be given it is also sung o purifier come 
who said this souls because both souls and bodies have become impure first of all consider yourselves to be souls it is the soul that says i adopt a body and also shed it again you have to develop faith in every aspect because all of these aspects are new others who say things are human they are not god when anyone comes first explain that the soul and the body are two distinct things souls are imperishable first consider yourselves to be souls i am a magistrate who said this the soul speaks through these organs the soul understands that his body has a name and that his status is that of a magistrate after shedding that body the status of a magistrate the name and form of the body change and another status is claimed therefore first of all become soul conscious human beings don't have knowledge of souls first give them the knowledge of souls and then explain that the father of souls is the supreme soul when a soul becomes unhappy he calls out oh god the father he alone is the purifier all souls have become impure so the supreme father the supreme soul definitely has to come into the impure world and an impure body the father himself says you call out to me the resident of the far away land because you are impure whereas i am ever pure bharat was pure and it has now become impure the purifier father comes and talks to souls he enters the body of brahma and speaks this is why his name is prajapita or father of humanity people are created through brahma which people surely people for the new world are created he purifies souls that have become impure souls souls call out liberate me from sorrow liberate us baba liberates everyone maya has made everyone unhappy the sitas have called out there isn't just one sita all have become vicious and corrupt in ravan's jail it is ravan's kingdom rama is incorporeal they chant rama rama they only remember one god the father shiva is incorporeal and so he needs organs shiva baba sits here and explains through this one you souls are impure and your bodies are also impure you are now ugly and you will then become beautiful baba is the ocean of knowledge he showers you with the rain of knowledge through which you become beautiful the people of bharat were beautiful but they became ugly by sitting on the pyre of lust they became part of the merchant clan and then the shudra clan the father inspires the stage of ascent then later when ravan comes it is everyone's stage of descent in the beginning it was the kingdom of deities in bharat that no longer exists the supreme soul explains to you through this body the mercury of happiness of those who are to claim their inheritance will rise you definitely have to follow shrimat each of you has to make this promise you have to come you have come to purify me and i will definitely become pure for only then will i become master of the pure world that is each of us each of you has to make this promise you have come to purify me and i will definitely become pure for only then will i become a master of this pure world this is raksha bandhan children make a promise to the father he is not a worldly physical father he is incorporeal he has entered this one he says you too must become soul conscious consider yourselves to be souls and remember me the supreme father the supreme soul there used to be purity in bharat and there was so much peace and prosperity at that time there were no other religions you see baba explained it to us in this way and you also have to understand it only by remembering the father will your sins be absolved only the one father is the purifier the father explains you are souls your original religion is peace 
you are residents of the land of peace you are also karmi yogis for how long could you remain in silence consider yourselves to be souls and remember the father and your sins will be absolved everyone is impure in the iron age you understand that we are becoming pure in the confluence age the impure world has to be destroyed there is the mahabharat war and natural calamities will also take place through which this old world will be destroyed in the new world it will be the kingdom of deities we are now following the orders of the supreme father the supreme soul you receive his shrimat this knowledge has to be understood tell them it should not be that you listen through one ear and let it out through the other you have to study here the bhatti of 7 days is very well known sit down and understand for 7 days understand the father and your births how you can become impure and how you can become pure again if you don't understand you will have to repent because there is a huge burden of sins on your heads only the one father is the most beloved the one who makes us into the masters of the pure world all the rest make each other impure in the golden age there was the pure household path it has now become impure because this is ravan's kingdom if you want to go to the golden age become pure only then will you receive the inheritance from the unlimited father at least remember we were residents of the land of peace we then went to the land of happiness we are now in the land of sorrow and we will later go to the land of peace this is why you have to become soul conscious the father says while living at home firstly become pure and secondly remember me and your sins will be absolved if you don't remember me and don't remain pure how would your sins be absolved how would you become liberated from ravan's kingdom here all are in a cottage of sorrow for half a cycle bharat is in a land of sorrow and for the other half it is in the cottage without sorrow you are also in an impure world although you explain with authority you should speak with respect and tell them although you say that you are the children of god the father you have no knowledge of the father you know your worldly fathers but you don't know the father from beyond this world who gives you unlimited happiness and makes you into the masters of heaven you have forgotten the one who made bharat into heaven this is why you have reached such a condition all are corrupt because all are born through vice anyone can understand this there is no question of insulting them this is only an explanation raksha bandhan has great importance the father says conquer the vices remember me remember the land of peace and you will return there keep it in your intellects that you are going to a land of happiness via the land of peace first of all you must definitely become soul conscious i am a soul i shed a body and take another the father has also explained that human souls do not become dogs or cats people stumble a great deal on the path of devotion you children can explain in your lectures that you are impure and this is why you remember the purifier father all sitas are in the cottage of sorrow and sorrow is increasing day by day those who govern also understand that there is a great deal of sorrow they beat their heads so much when one of them is quieted down another one rises up and the war continues instead of peace there is even more peacelessness the father comes and puts an end to all sorrow and peacelessness and creates the land of happiness there is sorrow in the old world and happiness in the new world the festival of raksha bandhan is a very important one you should explain who started this custom the purifier the supreme father the supreme soul came and inspired souls to make a promise to become pure you also made this promise 5000 years ago now connect your intellects in yog with the supreme father the supreme soul and you will become pure again once again ask them since when have you been tying a rakhi since when have you been having a rakhi tied they would say that this is an eternal system however rakhis will not be tied in the pure world here no one is pure 
now the father's order is become pure and you will go to the pure world purity is first there used to be the pure family life but that no longer exists there is no trace of sorrow in heaven whereas in hell there is no trace of happiness corrupt ones receive temporary happiness whereas elevated ones receive happiness for half a cycle you understand that the festival of rakhi will pass it can be said that it happened identically a cycle ago because of not understanding the drama clearly they become confused first of all give the father's introduction it is the father who comes and liberates everyone when did the festival of rakhi begin this too has great importance you should write come in and understand explain to anyone and ask them to give you a place somewhere for you to give a lecture people of the congress party stand outside shops and many people gather there you have to make effort in order to do service acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and we the spiritual children also say namaste to our spiritual father let us see today's essence for dharna two points first point speak with authority but also have respect show everyone the way to change from impure to pure second point stay in unadulterated remembrance don't remember the name or form of any bodily being promise the father that you will become pure today's blessing may you become full of all attainments by becoming good and renouncing all limited desires blessing once again may you become full of all attainments by becoming good and renouncing all limited desires baba explains the blessing those who have limited desires can never have their desires fulfilled all the pure desires of those who become good are automatically fulfilled the children of the bestower do not need to ask for anything you cannot receive anything when you ask for it to ask for something means you have a desire if your thought of doing unlimited service is without any limited desires it will definitely be fulfilled and this is why you have to adopt the method of becoming good without having any limited desires and you will then become full of all attainments finally today's slogan to become a conqueror of maya by having remembrance and doing altruistic service is to be victorious slogan once again to become a conqueror of maya by having remembrance and doing altruistic service is to be victorious acha om shanti